Hey, welcome to Scent Weekly for the week of November 8th, 2021. And this episode, I'm going to talk about the November 2021 Scent and Warmer of the Month. I'm also going to tell you about the November Mystery Box. And finally, I'm going to show you something that I did for decorating my house. I'm going to give you an over-the-shoulder look of exactly how I created it and also show you how I put it up. So here we go. First of all, the scent and warmer of the month. It is a cute little snowman with a 30-day countdown to Christmas. It only starts at 30 because today we have 46 days till Christmas and I was trying to go from 46 to 45 for the demo and it didn't work. So I've learned that it's only designed to go a, a 30 day countdown. It is an element warmer. This whole top comes off and that's how you, that's where you put your wax. And for element warmers, there's no bulb, so there's no light source. But there is a light on the back that lights up whenever it's on, so that way you can tell if it's on or not. And then there are holes in the back to so the oil can come out. So the scent is a really nice pine scent. I'm really not into pine, but this one is really good. Like I, I could totally tolerate this. So it actually be very good. Um, it's called Icicles and Evergreen. And let me, let me say, oh, it's, it's in the fresh category, so that's why I like it. Um, it's, the description is cool blue eucalyptus and pine needle iced with crystallized sugar. Um, it's top notes are blue eucalyptus, fresh clove, pine needle, mid notes are crisp apple, watery peach, pear blossom, and base notes are white birch, cinnamon bark crystallized sugar. It is a very nice pine scent. Even if you don't really like um, that balsam scent, but you like to have something like that around for Christmas time, um, this one is really good. So I'll probably be using this for sure. So as of the day of this recording, there's 46 days until Christmas, and it just comes with these this pair of dye that you can change as the countdown goes. So tomorrow I can change it to, <laughs> is there a five? Am I using this wrong? 45, how does this work? So if there's 46, Tomorrow there's 45. Does this not work? That's weird. Have you enjoyed that little blooper reel? I enjoyed laughing at myself. <laughs> what I want to tell you about is November mystery boxes. So I really love doing the mystery boxes because since he offers a whiff box and a lot of you like to message me and say, Hey, I want a spoiler on the whiff box, so I will release spoilers to you to let you know what, what's in it because you want to know what's in it before you order it. So I created my own mystery box just so really nobody can know what's in it except for me. And I love doing DIY, and so it gives me an opportunity to be creative and really helps me like get in touch with the things that you like too. You will receive your box at the, towards the end of November, beginning of December. So I've thought of what you know you're going to be doing around the time that you're receiving the box. I always offer two themes so you can choose whatever theme piques your interest the most. And so the items inside the box is going to be three to five Scentsy items. And it also has like a sample of something and then something that I make. For example, just to give you an idea of the kind of things that I do, we had an on-the-go box a few months ago. I put like everything we have for cards. I made a keychain that you can um, drop oil on the bead. It was harder than I thought it was going to be, but it was really fun and it totally got me into like making more macrame. Another month, um, we did a fragrance flower and I included a orange marker that you could color the edge of your flower 
when you do that the when the oil goes up into the petal it draws the ink from the marker down it looks beautiful so um, I included an orange marker in the box and then I also made these little coasters so you set your um, your fragrance flower down on the coaster and you draw it with the um, marker and it looks very beautiful so those are just to give you an idea of what a mystery box is like so for November mystery box the themes are going to be Christmas tree or Christmas gnome you can get both if it sounds like you would like both of them giving you an option you know like to me it makes it takes kind of the pressure off of me of coming up with one amazing idea that everybody's gonna like I get to do two and so and then you can choose whatever one like piques your interest the most so it'll be Christmas tree and or Christmas gnome okay and I'm also gonna do a different box in November as well I'm gonna do a gift box for, for November so for so if you want to just hit the easy button on your um, gift buying this year you can just uh, get a gift box for me and it will be ready for you to give to your person that you need to give a gift to you could also just um, you know if you want to customize a gift we can do that um, but let me, I'm going to tell you what's in this box. It's not going to actually be a mystery box. It's going to be a gift box so that you will know what's already going to be in it. So it's three of my favorite things that I think everybody should have. I try to choose things in my boxes too that you don't have to have a warmer or a oil diffuser or a fan diffuser. or You don't have to have something um, in order for the thing to make sense. So, um, it's a fragrance flower, so you're going to get a fragrance flower, and it's going to be in the scent, um, Joy and Wonder. So, let me tell you what that scent smells like. It is delightful red currant and black raspberry mingle with cinnamon stick. Sounds amazing. So, that was, that's going to be one thing in it. The other thing in it is going to be a hand soap. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy the holiday bundles of hand soap. And then I'll split them up. So there will only be one soap in the box. But it's going to be one of these three scents. Either Berry Blessed, Dancing Sugar Plums, or Perfect Peppermint. So Berry Blessed is soft, soft vanilla and cranberry sprinkled with sparkling sugar is pure bliss. That's a description. Dancing Sugar Plums description is rich spiced plum falls right in step with visions of vanilla and sweet cinnamon apple. And Perfect Peppermint description is cooler than most. Pure Peppermint is the most popular, I'm sorry, is the popular kid you'll love to love. So that is what it's going to be. Just one of those three will be in the box. And if you have a preference, you can let me know. It's no trouble for me to, um, you know, drop your, your preferred um, scent in there. And then finally, I will be getting the room spray in the scent Silver Bells. So, um, minty candy canes dance over warm and welcoming pear, all enveloped in a velvety blanket of caramel and vanilla sugar. So that is um, that's the description for the room spray. So it'll be fragrance on our hand soap and room spray. And also something made by me. So since it's a fragrance flower, I'm going to include a red Sharpie for them to color the flower. And also one of these. But I'm going to use a different cord. I'm going to use the cord like this. That's why I brought this keychain. So I'm going to use this green and white cord. Um, if I run out, if I happen to run out of this cord, then it will be white. But, um... But anyways, that's what I'm gonna do. Is a is a um coaster is what it is in this cord. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. So that's what they're gonna be getting, and um I also I'm going to put a sample of something in there. I don't actually know what as of now. Um, it may be like it may be bath salts. So I have these little jars. Sorry I didn't bring one, but they're um, four ounce mason jars. And so sometimes I'll put, um, that's what I've done in the past, is put um, bath salts in that. So it'll be something, something like that, okay? So that is what's going to be in the gift box. I cannot advertise pricing here because this video is 
housed on a public channel so what I have to do is include the pricing information in the email so check your email for pricing okay I forgot to include the deadline for uh, mystery boxes and gift boxes for November is going to be Sunday, November 14th. I'm going to place the orders on Monday, November 15th. So I have plenty of time to get them before the end of the month and get them um, out either at the end of November or beginning of December. Okay, so you can reply to the email if you um, if you are interested. You can text me 843-353-6070, whatever is most convenient for you to let me know that you want a November mystery box, either Christmas tree or Christmas gnome, or if you want to get any gift boxes. Now I'm excited to share the little DIY project that I did to um, add some art to my walls. I've been wanting to do this for a long time and so I finally did it and it's not perfect but it's done for now. <laughs> um, but my whole business kind of like everything I kind of share and put out there revolves to me around creating a happy home and so I've been really trying to clean, declutter, organize, decorate you know, my home to make it feel comfortable and happy to my family. And so I like sharing little things that I do. So one of the things that I did was I printed out some artwork on Etsy and hung it on my walls. And so I'm just going to give you an over the shoulder view of what, you know, what I found on Etsy, how, you know, how I made my purchase, downloaded, printed, and hung it up on my walls. So hopefully it inspires you to get some kind of small project that you've been um, putting off or thinking about finally accomplished. And also just to show you how easy it is to get something done, you know, even though it's not exactly perfect, you know, at least you got some progress made to create the kind of atmosphere that you're wanting in your home. So here goes. Let me go to Etsy. And let me go to the actual purchase. Here it is right here. So Fruit of the Spirit Wall Art. Okay. I could have made this myself, right? But I didn't want to have to worry about the formatting and the fonts and, you know, just like copying something that someone else did. It was worth it to me for $16 for the time and kind of, you know, gifting someone for their work. But I love her mission and all that kind of stuff. So I just purchased it. So just click the buy it now or add to cart or however you want to. Um, check out and then as soon as I was able as soon as I made the purchase I'm gonna just go back um I got an email but I also you know had this little download files button available so I can't really take you exactly through the process but um I will put this link in the email in case you're interested but you know I bought I went and you know made the purchase and then download the files um so I did the eight by 10, okay? Um, there was instructions in the description, I think, where it was saying you can print eight by 10 on a regular eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper and just select when you print to fit to the um, paper size. So that's what I did. I just followed those instructions. So all I did was download this one. I think there's not a limit on how many times you can download it, but just in case, I'm just going to go to where I have it stored on my computer. So let's see. I believe I created a folder for it. Etsy wall art. Fruits of the Spirit. So I just made those two folders and that's where I downloaded the zip file to. And then after you have the zip file, you would just double click on that and that created this folder. And then that's where all the files are stored. So I'm gonna open that up and then um, 
you I just went down. You can see she's got them numbered. So the first one doesn't have a number, but the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, they're all numbered. So there's nine of them in total. And so you just um, click on that and then do file print. And then this was the trick she said in the description. It's like take note of how it looks now. And then whenever I click scale to fit, you're gonna see it get a little bit bigger. See, so it just makes it a little bit bigger, take up a little bit more of the um, page since it was designed for eight by 10, but I'm gonna just use a regular sheet of paper to not have to go through the extra trouble of, um, you know, cutting the paper down to size or anything like that. So then you just click print and you can print them all off. I'm just gonna cancel because I've already printed them um, and just go down the list and print them all out. So like literally within, 10 minutes, like less than 10 minutes, I've purchased the, um, you know, the files, got them downloaded and got them printed. It was super easy. So with my papers printed out, I went back to the picture from Etsy to see how she had everything laid out. And so I just put on, just right here on my dresser, I just put everything in order how she had it. It's probably, okay, so, goodness is here. Peace is up here. Sorry for my camera work. Don't have a good place to put everything. And then self-control is at the bottom. So that was, so that's gonna be the right column. And then faithfulness is on the bottom left. Kindness is in the middle. And patience is here. And love. Okay. Um, kindness is in the middle, joy is at the top, and goodness is at the bottom. All right. So I've got them like laid out in order here. Okay, how they go on the um, on the wall, and so I decided to start with um, kindness since it's in the center. So I could get everything like centered on my wall. I act, I can't turn the camera around, but I ended up printing out everything because I didn't want to take all mine down and mess up my wall. <laughs> so that's the finished product. I literally just have everything taped onto the wall until I get decide what I'm gonna do about frames. So I'll update you later on how I end up doing my frames. I'm debating between going ahead and spending money on some inexpensive frames or just like using cardboard. I'm leaning towards just using cardboard to do something inexpensive because I have a lot of Scentsy boxes I could use uh, for that. You can come on, I have to edit everything anyways. So 82, 41 inches, it's about halfway. So that I just went back to my papers and I got the kindness one and my stool is like centered over the 41 inches. So just kind of drop my paper. I'm not like trying to get exactly perfect you know, just pretty good. And I just lined it all the way up to, to where it looked like it was the center and then just took the tape and taped it up there, okay? Then I got my tape measure. I mean, some people will probably be more, do more than I did. Some people probably do less. You know, then I did some people might totally eyeball it, but I just started from here, getting it pretty much centered. So I take that one up there. Once that one was up there, I went over to the right 
And actually, I didn't even use the tape measure yet. Um, so I took goodness. And this is why I had them laid out on the table too, so I could um, get that. So imagine that these are not there and I just have this one here, right? So I took it and lined it up and just brought it over to where I thought it looked like it was spaced out enough. And I just kept it, you know, lined up, eyeballed it, you know, and then took the tape and taped that one. So once I got it where it looked good to me and I had it taped up there, then I took my tape measure and measured what is the distance between those two and it's three and a half inches. And so then I used that to just do all the rest. So then I took Joy and I think I, I climbed up here just to make sure I got everything lined up well, but I'm not gonna climb up for the video. But I just kind of started everything from here, you know, and then just went up to what looked, you know, like lined up that way and then went to three and a half inches. So once I got to three and a half inches and that looked lined up this way, you know, then I put my tape on there. And I just did the same thing, you know, from here with piece, you know, went up to where I was three and a half inches got that eyeball, made sure that was three and a half inches, take that up there. So I just kept on doing that until I had them all lined up. And that is all I did. I hope you enjoyed me sharing how I did my wall art. And um, thank you so much for joining me for Scent Weekly and being a part of my community. I love serving you. I'll talk to you later. Bye.